Hey guys, today in the shop, we're gonna be cutting the Project 6 liter right down the middle. Finally time, now that I got that rear frame section all uh, prepped up and ready to go, time to cut this truck in half. So what we're gonna do today is cut the frame. I already got the fuel tank out of the truck. Uh, cut the old section of frame off. Hopefully get the new section of rear frame at least tacked back on. But uh, first things first, we gotta get rid of this old crusty bed. We get the bed out of the way. Now we can cut off this frame section. So what I got is once we get the bed off, I disconnected the fuel lines from the frame. I pulled the wiring harness that goes back to the tail lights. I pulled that out and just kind of pulled it forward. The puck brake cable was already junk, so I just disconnected that. And the drive shaft was already garbage and not gonna work for the length we need anyway. So I just took a saws all of that. This kind of stuff is just a matter of Get it done as quick as possible. No need to be pretty with it. Just get it out of your way. Um, and as you can see, this frame was wicked bad. But once you get up to the front here, it's nice and solid. So that's the only reason we decided to keep this truck and go ahead with this project. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the torches. I'm going to cut the frame here, just like we did on the other chassis piece. Get the bulk of this out of the way roll this all out of the shop, then uh, we'll use the jig, mark it up, if you remember, two and a half inches back from the front bed bolt, and then we'll use a plasma cutter to do the finish cut. So let's get the torches out, and let's get this rusty old chassis out of the way. remember from the previous episode uh, if you didn't see that one I'm gonna put it up here and it'll also be a link in the description below but what I did is I made up this template so I can make sure that I cut the frame here the same as the new piece of chassis that I'm welding on now I just kind of want to give a little bit of a disclaimer here this is not for somebody that's not confident with fabrication um, modifying your frame can be very dangerous Definitely don't try it if you're not comfortable with this kind of stuff and obviously do so at your own risk either way. But um, as I went over, the safest way to do it is with a notch like this. If you just do a straight cut, the weld goes in one direction, there's more of a chance of it breaking off clean on a weld uh, or next to the weld, I should say. Usually the weld is the strongest part, but you can stress the metal 
and fatigue it next to it. But what I did was I measured exactly two and a half inches from the front bed bolt back and then I laid the jig on and I'm going to mark it and then I'll just cut these extra little pieces off with the plasma cutter. Once these are cut off, I'll bring in the frame section that I prepped that's from the short bed truck and uh, we'll start leveling it up, squaring it, um, tacking it on and I don't think I'll get it finished welded today. I don't think I'm going to get that far on this tonight, but uh, I do want to at least get it in tack welded, make sure it all looks good and we'll go from there. We got the old frame out of the way and uh, I brought the new frame in and what I did is I, I test fit it to make sure everything fit nice and good and then I just made a measurement from the back or the front bed bolt to the back of the frame on both sides. I made sure it was nice and even and made sure it was square. I went and beveled all of the joints. That way we get a nice good penetration in there, good welds and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack weld this side together. And I'm going to go over on the other side. I'm going to tack weld that side together. Once I get good tacks, I'm going to double check, make sure it stayed nice and square, and then I'm just going to start welding. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the night there. Uh, pretty proud of how far we got on this tonight. So just to kind of recap, we got the old bed off, the old chassis off, got everything all prepped and tack welded. And then I actually made the first pass on this notch on both sides. So made pretty good progress. The chassis is on there nice and solid. Um, just about ready to take the back half off the jack stands and start getting the, the rest of the suspension together. I got a few more passes to make on here and then a pass on the inside, and then I'm gonna plate the inside of the frame right here, just where the weld was for about eight inches of the frame, just to kind of make sure that everything is covered. There's welds in all directions. It's nice and solid, and there's nothing to worry about. Um, this is a modification of the frame in front of the, the rear axle, so you just wanna make sure this is as structurally sound as you possibly can. Uh, aside from that, we're gonna get rolling on the suspension. We uh, already have these DJM brackets on. I want to get the, the rear done. I got a nice fresh set of springs coming to put on it. Uh, I got an axle that is supposed to have a locker in it. We'll see. We'll open up the cover and see if we got lucky on that one. And we're going to put that axle in. Try to get this thing sitting back on its wheels again. And then we'll start working on the front suspension. Um, there's a chance you guys may not hear from me for the next uh, couple of weeks. Within the next few days, my wife will be going in to have the baby. So um, kind, of a, kind of a crazy time for me. I'm going to do my best to get a video, but obviously you guys kind of know where my priority is going to be at. So if you don't hear from me, don't worry. I'm just uh, enjoying some time with the family. Um, if you guys like this video, maybe hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe. And if you want notifications, make sure you hit that bell. Otherwise, you might not know when I send an upload and... Uh, if you want to get those uploads every time I get them, just hit that bell button. But as always, guys, thanks for watching In the Shop.